all right if you have finished uh, defining your design variables uh, under the newly created uh, Maxwell 2D design so now it's the time to uh, define the coordinate based rotor structure for the slim simplicity sake I, I will uh, demonstrate only the first flux barrier line uh, so in order to like uh, mm, uh, define those uh, coordinates you should do your math like uh, to get the proper uh, expressions for those x y coordinates for in my case in this uh, figure uh, you can clearly see uh, i have uh, given all the x y coordinate expressions except for these two points as i mentioned earlier these po points can be easily uh, uh, calculated by mirroring those coordinates so you you have you have you only need to do uh, the calculation for this part because the others will be uh, the mirrored coordinates so let's get on with it if you don't see uh, see your window similar to this one please uh, double click on the uh, newly created uh, uh, maxl 2d file it will it should uh, give you a pop-up window like this uh, and if you wish to uh, change your grid settings uh, there's a way to do that uh, go to view and click on grid setting and there are two options given either to go with the Cartesian and uh, with the polar method so I usually um, switch uh, in between because sometimes it helps to go with Cartesian and sometimes it helps to go with polar for the uh, time being I'm gonna keep it as it is so I'm gonna hit ok and so just like in many uh, 2d softwares uh, in here also they have given us some uh, degree of freedom to create some 2d design so if you hover your mice mouse uh, over some icons it will show the name tag so in this case like if I hover my mouse uh, onto this icon it shows draw line so the names are self-explanatory so you can uh, easily guess what the icon uh, does so in here I need to draw a line so this should do my job so since we are uh, we have the expressions for the coordinates I am not uh, I do not care for the movement about the uh, line uh, placement so I am gonna just create a line and then change the coordinates to uh, align properly so you need to first pick a first point then in order to uh, create a line you should double click on the end point so all right I have a line here so in the model uh, the all the activities you are doing is recorded so I will just create only one line so it's showing up there and in order to change the coordinate you should double click on the line and it will uh, open up a properties window up there it says that so you might wonder like why there is third coordinate here because we are only dealing with uh, two axes x and y but z is also there but for the for the simplicity sake and for the 2d two dimensional uh, uh, simulations we are not caring about the z dimension so we, you can leave zero as it is and i'm i'm going to create this line over here so it says my x coordinate is this and y coordinate is this so, so now you understand why we need to define the uh, design variables before creating the uh, dynamic rotor because we need to call the proper variables here if we haven't uh, uh, define those variables this this is going to give you a give you an error so since we have done that we should be good to go and yeah this is a little bit tricky like uh, you might wonder why I am putting some additional thousands uh, or like uh, additional divisions uh, entering here because usually 
the MCC is uh, doing the calculations based on the default uh, uh, either uh, metric measurements using uh, using I uh, metric measurements. So since my design is based on uh, millimeter di dimensions, I might need to add some thousands or one over thousands here and there in order to match up the uh, uh, values I need to get. So yes, these are the values I'm hoping for. And here also, like. SQRT and yeah oh, and yeah one thing I, I forgot to uh, tell you about some basic mathematic functions like a uh, square root sine cos and some uh, they are they are working here too like uh, in the uh, in the in the value section you can easily input those uh, functions here and try to obtain a value here and you can like even nest up those functions like a function within function it still works so um, inputting the this is not the first time I'm uh, using these expressions that why I'm uh, uh, straight away getting the answer correctly uh, for the when I was doing for the first time I also got some uh, unwanted answer here and then I had to modify the expressions so meaning uh, adding thousands and uh, one over thousands here for some expressions it might not need uh, to add some additional calculations but uh, most of the time you need to add and yes Okay, here it is. Uh, this is the line we have just created. So, in here also, like uh, it previews the properties window, but I usually uh, tend to prefer the the larger uh, window option because, like, once you uh, try to enter a lengthy expressions here, it will be much easier. Like, uh, scroll to right and get the evaluated value. Uh, still, you can do it in here, but it will be the, the space will be limited so okay now I'm going to create this line so we have expression for the xy coordinates so we can straight away create this line too again like uh, without thinking about too much I'm just going to create a line so it's appearing here just double click on it and <coughs> end of the line uh, end of the line coordinates so I'm going to enter this point coordinate as uh, this one D um, Flip coordinate. Uh, uh, you can simply copy y coordinate into x. Uh, x into y. Simply swap those values because we are we are dealing with the mirror coordinate. So, uh, I think we are good to go. That's like it okay. Uh, Alright, we are not good at this. Um, so 
on top of each other so we can create this line so the coordinates are marked here so once again I will create a random line then I try to edit it uh, in here too uh, like we have uh, three lines so we have just created the first flux barrier line so you might need to put some effort to create and especially to obtain the coordinates and in my case all of them are given but if you try if you wish to do uh, by then your own you might spend uh, quite a bit uh, quite a bit of time to obtain uh, the coordinate of coordinates of these points especially when you uh, move along to a higher flux barrier line number because uh, the flux carrier and barrier bits are keep on adding so keep that in mind uh, keep that in in your mind and since this is a demonstration, I am only demonstrating uh, the first flux barrier line and some uh, tips and tricks uh, you may need when you uh, do your own thing. So always remember to save the file as you move forward and once you create a, a full flux barrier, you might need to uh, 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 combine those lines to make a make an object so there's a way to do that in here also so just here press the right a control button and click on the lines you need to uh, combine and then uh, you can click on all right in order to like uh, create a full object i'm just going to uh, grab one and like i'm just demonstrating this one all right okay uh, press control then select the lines you need to come by so once you click all the lines you need to come by uh, you will see uh, this icon will get activated it says unite press on that so it will make those uh, partitions into uh, into an one line into one line 
so this is uh, the first step of making this to an object and right click on the object and go to edit surface uh, I'm sorry mm, this one surface and cover lines now it will uh, make an object now you can assume uh, you might uh, notice that it is uh, by default the, the material vacuum is as assigned to every object so you can change change it by going to properties in my case uh, barriers will be air but uh, you can leave vacuum as well if if you wish to like uh, insert a, any other material because uh, in RM expert, uh, if you go to materials type in RM expert, uh, you can find most of the materials you need. Uh, this is the lamination I use in 1929G. If you hit OK, it will change to M19G. So you get the idea. But my barrier is uh, vacuum. So I'm going to use the vacuum. So it's changed so you get the idea so in order to use this abstract uh, uh, command uh, you need to uh, have two different objects and with the same uh, material type so you might need that as well like uh, in order to create those uh, air barriers because uh, after uh, drawing those lines based on coordinate you can combine them to create act as a one barrier and subtract it from the uh, whole rotor portion so that's how you get the uh, slotted uh, uh, punch state punch uh, rotor so that's pretty much it so you can uh, like uh, uh, self learn this so once you get the hang of it you will be able to do it much quicker